Alright guys, welcome to another episode of my survival series, and that's my oldest project of this week. I did it last weekend. It's my ice mountain, and I want to clear out these stupid endermen, because they've been annoying me all week. Okay. I hate them. A lot. Huh. Hmm, we could take this. This will be in use. This will come in handy. Oh. And that. But. My ice mountain. It's complete. Also, what's complete. Is I have silk touch. So I could clear out. This project and get my glass back. If I don't drop it over the edge. Let's get my less important pick out. My unbreaking pick broke. So I'm using one of the uh, worse, uh, more, uh, ah, words. One of the uh, worst enchantments I got. But. We have the ice mountain and the fire mountain. The volcano. And also, this place is complete. Mostly. Not, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> but the floor is complete and the border walls are complete. The ceiling still has some needed. I won't use it. But still has some work. Things are still trapped. Things are still working all right. And oh no! Phew! That was close. But here we are at the ice volcano. It's not. It's not how I wanted it to turn out. Not what I was thinking of. But, I do like it. It has snow layer because it snowed here. I waited for that AFK one time and it actually it, it came up. And, you also notice this huge place is a full snow biome now. Instead of that weird square shaped ice we were having before. I think that's be just because of where the snow was rendering when it snowed last time. And when I came over here and it snowed again, it created a new square, the boundaries right there, based on the center of my location around this ice mountain. So, yeah. It wasn't an error, it was just rendered stuff. No real control over it. But, the coolest thing that probably happened this week, stumbled upon was we stumbled upon me when I was building this. It was a pink animal and it wasn't a pig. We have a pink sheep. Naturally spawning pink sheep in version 1.1. .1. That's pretty insane. I thought with persistence and all that getting a naturally spawning pink sheep Man, that's... Can I get you luck for the lottery, please? Please? Go away, is that what you just said? Oh. Well, next part of this tour. This this week is pretty much all post-tour. Um, all all post-construction. Uh, I also began a little bridge. It's not lit up yet. That was way, those are way bad shots. There we go. Because this bridge only goes maybe halfway, and that's generous. It ends right here. 
Oh, missed. And most of my work was done in 1.8, the uh, sign fields. And I moved on my chest. That was another project, but yeah, that was actually was my second project. Moving, no third. Um, it, it's kind of all over the place. My projects for the week. Uh, Ice Fountain is definitely first. I completed that first too before even beginning the second. But I moved like. 30 some chest here for my other project which probably be shown last actually based on how it's organized this is these projects are kind of linear Ooh, this is a lot of mobs come on get on my another another bridge Yeah, I have a bridge to this island too. From. Okay. And with this experience. Okay. And this bridge. Goes to the old chest area. But it's more focused on. Uh, just connecting 1.8, 1.7 in the overworld. And the focus of this bridge is. Yep, kind of staring at you in the face, but it's a sheep farm. 16 pens to uh, be specific about it. Um, the order will be white, orange, magenta, light blue, yellow, lime, pink, gray, and so forth. The same order as appears on victory monuments. And that's why we could use these. And I'll need uh, cocoa beans for later. Um, but yeah, I have four pens fully complete. Um, a few. So I need to get some sheep. Two ready for sheep. And eight that just have the wooden floor. Okay, sorry about that stupid skelly. But eight of the wooden floor, this is how it starts. Then I do the redstone next, which is very, very simple. It's basically under this is the redstone wire, and the wire is connected to two torches that power the pistons. So when you off it, the torches are on, the pistons are on, and it blocks the water. When you step on it, it turns the torches off, the pistons are checked, and the water flows. And it flows in a way that all the wool you shear flows towards the center spot where you're at, too. Win-win. Very simple redstone. Covered up with stone bricks. Um, the pens are 20, 20 grass blocks. 5 by 4. And I got the grass with the silk touch pick. It's right here. And... But sometimes, like, especially baby sheep that just, like, chow down on the grass, they eat so much. But I do have some spare grass up here. This patch is still growing, but these are full. And these will actually help spread the grass down because they, they can spread down two blocks like that. Um... Uh, Especially with the uh, light, the glowstone lighting I'm using. And that really helps with keeping it green. This is orange. It looks yellow. What is orange? Each pen will have four sheep. And let me just say, these sheep are so annoying. I hate the, uh, I'm a parent so I'm going to follow the babies, but I'm not even going to follow my new baby, I'm going to follow the old ones, which is another pen away, so I'm going to jump over the wall, jump across the gap, and into the other pen to join them. Two of them actually did that, they actually jumped this gap over to the other pen, where I had to shoot them because they were getting in my way. So frustrating. 
basically what I'm doing now is breeding two in here, letting one out, a different one out, and then leading them to their new pen. Which will be uh, lime right here. So I do that. I reach sheep. I don't think they could jump over pressure plates. I think they treat it as a full block, which is kind of weird. No! No! What are you doing? Get in there! Ah, oh, frustrating. Okay. You place it on the pressure plate and then it will go to the block above, which is the one I want. And now that two sheep are in there, two white ones, I could dye them and then breed them to get the third and fourth lime, lime wool sheep in their respective pen. And then... there and then I need another yellow one like that I also remove the pressure plates on these because if there was water flowing here they could actually jump over this gap which is also annoying that happened a couple of times but all these sheep came from three originals that followed me over I can't sprint anymore might as well eat this. So I don't have to chow down on 50 melons as I have been doing. But I made this walkway. Some brick fences. And it leads to a courtyard. Red flowers, yellow flowers. Weird structure. I got bored, <laughs> but we'll go this way, and there's also another bridge here, a wooden one this time, it goes up, has fences and logs down below for design, I still need to add designs to, design to the cobble, the cobble bridge by the sheep and the smooth stone bridge way at 1.7 and we have actual walkway to my wall of subscribers every single one of you and since our 50 we had quite a bit and this is most likely due to the fact that I was docking subscriber of the week which is very <laughs> this, this was a pretty sweet moment when I like found that out Oh, I'm still, it still makes me happy. <laughs> um, I, I couldn't figure it out. Like, suddenly I had, like, three in one, one night, and I was like, somebody somewhere must have said my name. I don't know what's going on. But, I watch, when I watch videos, I watch, like, one person, and then, move to the next and then watch catch up on their videos move to the next on my uh, subscriber uh, subscription list so I don't watch them on the day of for the most part so I didn't see the Deer Doc episode 24 until this morning I think because when I reached Doc M's name no last night last night and that's when I found out I was subscriber of the week, and that was pretty sweet. And now we're in 1.8 lands. The dome is, it doesn't look like it, but it's one glass row lower than before. And all the ugly dirt in the middle is just, is gone. I'm cleaning this up, and this is what I want to finish. My biggest project, the huge glass dome. But in the meantime, I'm working on the other projects of 
sheep farm, which I've been wanting to do since they began regrowing wool. And I fixed up the walkways. I rescued the pig from my cobblestone prison that was in for months. Sorry, piggy. Are you happy now? You have a little pen at least. But I haven't used any. I haven't used silk touch on glowstone yet. But I can finally get more glowstone now. I've been sparingly using it until I have an easy way to get more. Silk touch is the best way to get glowstone. It's better than fortune for the most part. And you'll get more of it with silk touch because you get the glowstone directly. So path comes up, this path's complete, and it merges in with this path, which now is complete too with the hedges all the way around. And this path is also complete to the reed farm, which I like, harvest like that, but when it's full. And it also continues on to the stairs to my skelly trap, a simple drowning trap. Enderman! Apparently they could reach through glass and steal gravel. I'm frustrated. And I finally... F mm. Yeah. But I did finally... This was used to be a hole in the ground with a ladder going all the way down to level two or something that uh, let slimes come up. You can see the ladder back there and the slimes now the slimes don't just pop out of the hole and then roam free around my base as they were so, well, several times so I know the slime farm works and now they actually come up they're all babies at this time they all the big ones bigger ones drowned they all come up and fall down into there and then I open it up like that the water water also comes out of this block because that one retracts pushing the uh, slimes out and then I could just one punch them and I also get experience that way which is cool see the water there flowing onto this pressure plate simple I think it's like one torch one redstone dust it's pretty insane um this path also leads down to my mob grinder for sign fields, even though it's not very. Oh. It's not as productive as 1.7 because I still have caves that direction, the way I'm facing now. Like, basically, all this direction because I didn't want to spawn new chunks, so I didn't explore those caves yet. I also moved all these chests, which is a bit of a pain. And I have some walkways left. But I finished all these walkways, and I really like the looks. It's turning out much better now that I actually have walkways everywhere. Yep. Been collecting eggs for... Um... A project I have in mind, but will be a while before I try to make it. Because I have many things planned. I want to make the melon and pumpkin farms automatic and twins, like they are here. Uh, about 20 melons, I think. 20 melons and pumpkins per farm. I want to clean up the looks of my flower and seed farm right there. I want to clean up my co uh, cobble and obsidian generator. Make make my own generator, my own design, now that I know how it works. Place redstone against flowing water. But I want to make my own design that's more pistonized in a way. That works smoother. Because as we saw last time, the lava only flowed two blocks and stopped for a while. It does autom it does continue eventually, but it takes a while. I've been using this tree farm like crazy. 
getting all the wood and stuff. 19 apples. Yeah. And... This is always the same, but... This is the most painful project. So, uh, this week... This, uh... Minecart station. There's a minecart at both ends. When it reaches an end, it, it goes to the departure lane, and then the uh, one on that side automatically takes off empty. So there's one on the other end again in case I return to the nether or something, which I have. And it's annoying to have to walk up the stairs because the minecart's up here. But this this thing took forever to build. I don't never played around with minecarts much before. But, I'll show you the redstone down here, because it's slightly easier to get to. And, when you hit this detector rail, the other one will take off. And it goes, and then this one will loop around, back down, into here. The soul sand's used, so the minecart doesn't slide around. And it's very handy, and used a lot. This button... All it does is power this piston briefly, so the track it has gets pushed under the minecart, and the minecart goes because it's against the wall, and there's a redstone torch beneath the this uh, soul sand. But we we'll go down here, let's put that back. So this track leads up and around above the other soul sand. Um, it does need a little fall to actually fall down. A little downhill thing right there. Uh, because it likes to get stuck. At least that's what I find. But this works and it actually doesn't require any more tracks. Just just because it's the same number uh, whether you're going up or going flat so it leads right there and the redstone behind it all is down here this way okay so uh, the detector rail that powers it all is right here um, no is it right here um, I can't remember that. <laughs> um, oh no, there's two things. The two detector rails. The first one is this one. It powers this and it powers this torch, which turns off and it rotates a track around, which I'll it's easier to explain if you see it. It turns this track around because if I'm coming in, I would turn right when I enter instead of going straight, which is not what I want. I want when I come in, I want to go straight. So this detector rail allows me to go straight, uh, turns the track briefly to allow it to go straight. But when I'm going out, I'm, I'm free to go out to the way I want before I hit the rail and if I when I hit this all it does is change that check for the normal pressure plate time while I continue along that way so that's uh, that's how you have two tracks or how I have it and the second one is right here I believe right beneath this one um, what it does is comes down. It powers this. Uh, it powers the t cart already here, like the same wire that goes up to the button. So the cart, if it's there's already one here beneath uh, above the soul sand, it would take off empty up to the top because the track just came arriving here. And after a ton of delay. The cart will, this piston will retract, and the cart will fall down and go around into the boarding station. 
uh, the departure station and the inbound station will be empty the departure station will be filled with another cart the same cart and ready for <coughs> excuse me ready for when I come back through the portal like that and my portals cleaned up this whole ravine is cleaned up a bit I have half slab stairs I have a staircase to my strip mine right here and the cleaned up staircase to nothing I, I needed all the cobble that's why there's none left but and then there's a little bridge across it to chests full of stuff and the way it's designed is cobblestone stuff, wooden stuff, dirt, gravel, sand, sandstone, glass, and nether, obsidian, soul sand, nether brick fence, things like that. And the enderman came along, stole one of these gravel blocks. He had to have steal, steal, stole the dirt on up because this torch is still there. But the other top torch is gone. That basically made me rage quit. I'm sick of anyone griefing my stuff. It's frustrating. It kills me on more than one occasion. As you've seen last episode. And it's just like... Phew. Um, My suggestion that I sent to the new AI guy on Twitter... But, who knows if he reads them all. But, if Enderman only could pick up blocks if the block was in, like, a low light level, like, below 7 or whatever it takes for them to spawn, they could pick it up. But if it's in a higher light level, they cannot. So, since this gravel is in a high light level, an Enderman cannot pick it up because it's lit up. But a darker one, they can not pick up. So, basically, everything unexplored, they could... Uh, grief, but everything explored and built, they cannot if you have it lit up. Also, we have... That's just my idea. I think it's pretty solid. Um, for some reason, they want them to be able to grief, so... It allows for that griefing to still happen. Oh yeah, that's how I got up. A blocked waterfall. Um, and dirt pillars. But it allows for the griefing, and it doesn't actually grief buildings people have built. Been clearing up up here too. Clearing this away, I have two ravines crossing each other. One going that way, and one going this way. And do I have a shovel? Nope. What's this? Efficiency? That will go through dirt all right. Huh. But yeah, uh, Endermen have been frustrating me a lot. And then the main strategy for killing them is attack their feet. But on SMP, you can't do that because their hitboxes are not at their feet. Ha. Huh. Which makes them even more frustrating. But this path, this staircase. I'm not sure how this will work out because it's another minecart station all on its own. It's a bit dark. And rocky, definitely. Wow. But going all the way around to that minecart station, taking the minecart down into the chest area. It was actually getting kind of tedious after only a few times of doing it. I also have this mysterious road. I don't know where it came from or anything. It goes over the redstone for the mob trap and it comes out right here. Which would be really, really cool if I could have an entrance to my chest area up here, right here. It leads straight to it, too. This path don't, doesn't even have to turn to enter it because 
Dig that staircase that just came up. The block's right here. And bam. St staircase to chest area. Can also even be another rail system. Even though I don't fancy playing around with minecarts anytime soon. Yep. So for this coming week. Plans are to finish the sheep area. That will be first. Then the melon farm. Second and the dome third. Um, other projects, I have no clue. Because most of these are on the fly. They're kind of sporadic all over the place. I made the bridges to the small subscribers because that's where I logged in. And I, I didn't know what to build, so like, hey, I'll just build here and make a bridge. Because I've been eating that pathway for a while and. I'm here, so why not do it? And then I built the bridge, I made the walkway, the uh, courtyard, and then made the staircase up because I've been needing that. Then made the bridge out, been wanting that too. And that's all after the ice ice thing because I was over there first, which is also spora uh, sporadic because I wasn't even planning an ice volcano there until the uh, biome changes made it so it snowing in the area and yep sporadic projects are sporadic and that was this week on my world thanks for watching as always this is Dungaunt see ya